And here we go. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat. You can start zooming three. Um, the first song is Passenger Seat. All right, so just easy cross-legged seated position. It's a little chilly in your house. Just stay bundled up if you're warm enough. Unbundle. And if you're especially tight in your hips, you know, sit on a cushion. Or if you've got a block at home, sit on a block. Just close your eyes. Just notice your surroundings. So, it might have been a really wonderful day full of viewing and conversations and food and drinks, right? So sort of surround yourself with all of that wonderful dialogue and imagery. And keep that with you for just a few moments as you roll your shoulders down and back, right? Just let the scenery between your eyes of your day or weekend just run like a movie. And you'll notice your mind's eye pauses on the sweet spots in those moments that you had. And then just like sort of the ending of the party, cleaning up the house or the kitchen and the end of the party, sort of start to switch off or with a beautiful smile and a hug, send those images just away from you now without rushing or compressing too much. Notice if you're having trouble saying goodbye to someone or something, and give them an extra smile or extra hug, and just let the person or people just wait outside now your bubble of your yoga mat, the sacred space we cultivate in our new places. Right? It's not just the studio, now we're everywhere trying to find these pockets of wonderful opportunity to draw in. A nice big breath, sigh out, keep your eyes closed, a few more moments, palms down or begin to bring your palms up a little more to step your hands. Continue sighing out. This time you exhale, let your fingertips come down to the side. You can keep your eyes open or closed as you take your chin down and make these movements at your neck, lifting the back of the spine a little taller and starting to feel the belly catch as you sit really straight and tall but kind of soften the shoulders. Take the chin down towards your chest and on an inhale with the chin down reach the arms up and as you exhale palms open chin gently lifts heart lifts up. So with the pace of your breath looking down as you reach up and inhale down as you stretch the throat and the back of the neck. So two more like that. Exhale. Big inhale. Fill your heart. Fill your space. And on the exhale, keep the palms overhead, the chin back. We'll bend the elbows behind our, <clears throat> our head, excuse me, and then lift up. So feel the pit of the navel lifting. There's a gentle back bend here if it's available. <clears throat> when you're ready, go ahead and take a little bit of a big breath. Reach the hands up. Take an upright twist with your left arm forward, your right arm back, and stay wide or start to take yourself to a gentle twist with your left palm open against your thigh, and then just draw your shoulder blades gently towards each other. That might be enough of a twist, or if you've got the hand out easy, you can start to bend the right elbow and take a little more peace with that. Leave the right hand where it is for now. We'll take the left palm to the crease of the right thigh and we'll take a diagonal reach. Try to lift the heart up more like cow pose. And on the exhale, we're just going to reach this right hand down towards the ground to make a catch. So inhale, lift the right arm up. Keep the left hand rounding the right circle. Hollow the navel, round the spine. Reach the right hand towards the corner. One more time, lift up, reach up. And this time, crisscross the arms. Seated cat, pull back, round the spine. Gripping with the fingertips, lift the heart. Perhaps come back to that big dipping toe. 
Two more, exhale, round. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. Exhale, hollow neck. Unwind the arms to eagle. And just come to the tippy toes. So not quite the vasana. So I'm upright and pretty seated here. So just lift the elbows and start to feel the belly catch. If you're comfortable, lift your left shin. If you're comfortable, lift your right shin. And if that's too much, just stay where you are. Lift the heart, lift the elbows. When we come back to seated, we'll cross the legs the other way. Take the fingertips back down and take the chin down. Keep the chin down, inhale, reach the arms up. Same thing, open the palms, lift the heart, shift the gaze. And then again, look down, reach up. Hands down, heart up. Last time, feel the stretch of the back of the neck, the side of body. Hands down, heart up. And then keep the palms together overhead. Bend those elbows, feel the upper arms, the tricep stretch, arch the spine, lift the heart. Reach the arms up and then right arm forward, left arm back. Find your way to a twist, hand behind the sacrum or on the ground. And then lift the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Opportunity and option to bend the left elbow to get a little more twist. Go easy here, be gentle with yourself. Flatten out the right hand to the left thigh, left arm up and over, lift the heart. And on the exhale, hollow and just reach those left fingertips towards the ground. Inhale, big breath up. Exhale, round and hollow. Inhale, big breath up. This time, cross the left arm in front of the right. Pull the navel back, round side. Inhale, seated cow. Take your time, two more pace of your breath. And then exhale. And on the inhale, you'll unwind to eagle the other way. You can stay seated if you want to try taking the tippy toes down. Lift the heart. Perhaps both the right shin and the left shin. Just pause. Find your belly. We're going to meet in a wide-legged forward fold. So if you're seated on the length of your mat, this feels easier. If you're seated forward, we'll just find your way. Wide monkey. So toes slightly in, heel slightly out. Give yourself some time here to just gently rock. You can even lift the heels, rock back on the heels, lift the toes. Legs can be straight or bent. So just make some movements here. Start to feel the waking up of the backs of the legs. We're going to meet with the hands under the shoulders. Find this long spine, wide monkey. Pause here as you really look at your own arches and lift them away from your mat. We'll keep the right hand under the shoulder. We'll take a twist with the left arm high to the sky. We're going to cross the left arm under the right and grab the outside of the right shin and start to bend just the right knee. The right elbow might bend. Your left forearm might be more parallel to your mat. Unwind for that wide monkey. Take an inhale. Gently forward fold. Exhale. Lengthen the heart. Lengthen the spine. Keep the left hand down. Inhale. Reach the right arm up. Take it under the left, grab the outside of the left shin, bend just a little bit into the knee. Both arms may bend, your head may reach a little farther. Inhale, wide monkey, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, wide monkey, stay for the exhale, right hand down, inhale, left arm up. As you reach it under, go ahead and bend the right knee right away. So we're working towards transverse lunge. Unwind, inhale, bend, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find that length, stay for the exhale, left hand stays ground, right arm lifts, inhale, bend and twist it under, exhale. Inhale, find that right monkey, exhale, forward fold. One more time through, inhale, find length, stay for the exhale, right hand down, left arm up. And this time we're going to pause and transverse lunge. Turn the right toes to the right, and then hold this left hand to the shin, and then reach the right arm up here for a gentle transverse lunge twist. Feel the belly button lift up towards your heart. One more breath. We'll meet back in wide monkey. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. 
Last time through, inhale, stay for the exhale. Left hand down, right arm up. And start to spin the left toes as you grab the outside of the left shin for a wider transverse lunge. Keep the right hand to the shin, lift the left arm up to the sky. Few breaths here, just explore your left glute, your inner thigh to each leg. Meet in wide monkey, and then we'll stay in forward fold. If you want to crawl your hands underneath you, tuck the chin all the way down. Kind of scrub those fingertips down and back. Two more breaths. Take the hands back under the shoulders and either take the hands to the waist or out like two wings or coming to stand. Star pose, lift the hands, palms together overhead, bend those elbows. Keep the legs, just reach the arms up. Exhale, bend. And again, inhale up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to thighs, bend. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Two more like that. Big breath up, hands on thighs, bend the knees, get low. Inhale up. Exhale, bend. Inhale up, keep your hands on your thighs, and then turn the right shoulder. Feel the back stretch. So make sure your navel's in and up, and really lengthen your flanks on each side of your sacrum, the Kiwa muscles. Come through center and switch. Press down through the heels, lighten up through the toes. Let's make this a little bigger. Come to the center. This time, transverse lunges and switch. So don't press on your knee. Have your right hand gently on your quad. Come through the center and move to transverse lunge with this left shoulder dipping. One more time. Go to left knee, right leg straight. Come through center, right knee, left leg straight. And come to center, hold this deep bend. So camping squat, but a little wider. And then take your arms up like two wings. Take your face straight down, head forward. Keep the body, reach the arms forward. Exhale out, palms towards knee. Inhale, reach, palms may touch. Exhale out. Inhale, keep the palms together, and then take that exhale. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, warrior two, right knee. Just pause here. Gaze over the right fingertips. Explore the bend, right? If you need to straighten out and then re-bend, go ahead and do that. Soften through the shoulders. We'll come through star pose and just take warrior two into your left leg. And again, just explore, right? Give your left leg a little bit of a wake up. Love. Inhale, come through star pose. Exhale, hands to the waist. Take an inhale, coming back to a forward fold. This time, peace fingers around your big toes. Get length and hold down. Give your neck a little shake side to side. And then go ahead and take your hands under your shoulders. We're going to come back to the transverse lunge into the right leg. Left hand under the shoulder, right arm high. So keep the right arm reaching here, or take a half bind at the sacrum where you might be able to reach it to the top of this left quad and just kind of smush the quad down towards the knee or grab the skin and lift it up towards the hip. So one way will feel better right now. And then keep spinning around for revolved. Keep the bind, lift the right arm, shoulder up. And then unwind the right hand high to the sky. Take it inside the right foot, come through wide monkey, and come to transverse lunge into the left knee. Take the right hand over the shoulder, left arm up to the sky. Try to lower the left thigh parallel to the ground. Half bind at the sacrum, or see if you can snuggle to the skin of the right quad or you're pushing it down gently to make space at the hip, or making space at the knee, finding the skin upward. Keep spinning around to easy twist. Just keep the bind if you can. Take the left arm up. Take it inside. Come to wide monkey. Forward fold. This time, arms crawl forward. Long dog. 
ears even with biceps. Lots of length on the legs this morning. Then we're gonna pivot around into the left knee to come to the top of a push-up plank pose. So hold yourself here, root back through the quads, lift up through the back of the head. Three more breaths. And if you need to put your knees down, we're gonna be in forearm plank. So maybe for this first one, you wanna put your knees down. Remember to measure your forearm plank by wrapping your fingertips around the base of your arms. You're welcome to clasp or just have your palms open. Take about 10 breaths here and make this one a little dynamic if you'd like. It's our first strength pose into the core, into the shoulders. So you might want to explore with some wiggles and some movements or just stay still. You have five more breaths. You're gonna make sure everything's good here. You can sigh out. more breaths, kind of dome your upper back, trying to stretch the crown of the head forward. If your palms are flipped up or clasped, you have to take the hands down to the mat and then lower the hips down for Sphinx Pose. Glue the tops of the feet, lift the heart up, and then tap the forehead. Take the hands and slide under the shoulders. Hug the elbows in towards each other. Anchor through your sacrum, the very base of your spine, and then lift up Bhujangasana. Exhale, tap the forehead down. Pull your hands back about a couple of inches. Keep those elbows hugged in. Keep the feet glued down. Inhale. Different variation for cover with your hands. And then this time, take your palms open on your sacrum, elbows towards each other, and then same thing, lift up. And then you have the option to float the feet. And stay still and close your eyes. Tuck your chin in slightly. Toes tuck them under. We'll meet in downward facing dog through hands and knees or reverse plank. And then instead of moving around, see what happens when I invite you to stay still. Keep the breath moving around. From underneath the finger pads, the gentle cupping of the palms, move the back up the forearms, up the upper arms. Feel the spine stretch. Pause at the apex of the pose, your sit bones. And start to exhale the length of the legs. And then now start to pedal the feet. And see how that feels once we've stayed still for a while and then we make movements. Right? So that's like life. Sometimes we have these pauses, these moments, and sometimes we have some chaos and some movement. Key is to stay even and balanced with your breath, with your mind, no matter what is possible, right? Sometimes it's not possible. Let your heels sink and then inhale, lift the heels up. Bend your right knee and come to plank. Lift back up to dog, lower the heels. Inhale, heels high. Bend the left knee as you shift to bend knee plank. Heels stay high, exhale, lower. And again, inhale, heels high, bend the right knee, shift to plank. Hips high, lower the heels. Last time, heels high, bend the left knee, shift to plank. Hips high, heels down. Inhale, stretch your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, stack and stay still. Really try to breathe under these hands, up the arms, up the spine, up to this right knee. Exhale out your feet. Now start to move the right hip joint a few times each direction, keeping the left hip joint drawing underneath you and really strong with that leg. Draw the right leg straight behind you. Step the foot between the hands and float the fingertips off the ground here. This time the palms facing your shin and then sweep the arms back, meaning lunge, and then just let them hover back towards your foot. Two more like that, inhale. Hug the hips towards each other. Exhale. A little more movement with the shoulders. Reach back and then reach forward on your inhale. And then back. 
two more like that. Inhale, keep the spine long, keep the head still. Come to leaning lunge and then pivot to bowl post arms wide, mount the other way. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach up, warrior two, into your right knee, pause. And again, just stay still here. See where you can send your breath. Make sure you've got space with this right hip joint, right? So two cues on offer, either move this right sit bone towards your knee, or the baby, baby lowest rib lift up towards your shoulder. Either way, you're gonna have space at your hip joint here. You can still get a little low. Come through star pose, but bend those arms again. Exhale, lift the heart, toes in slightly, heels out. Exhale, lift the rib cage in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, left knee bends. And again, just explore space with this hip joint. So you can tuck the sit bone under towards your right thigh and then feel that difference when you move it towards your left knee. Your teeth. All right, stay here in your left knee. We're going to reach the arms up and then frame around the foot. Come to plank, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, Bhujangasana, or if you're ready, up dog. Exhale, knee back and downward facing dog. Get your left leg up to the sky, bend and stack and stay still, but move your breath. One more breath here, just move around inside out, and then start making movements from the outside in by circling this left hip a few times each direction. We'll stretch the left leg straight back, step it forward between the hands, Float those fingertips off the ground so you're in this leaning lunge. Small movements, just reach the arms back and then back to hover. Two more. Maybe lengthen your right leg back. Feel the strength of your right quad. Lift your left toes off your mat. Now we go bigger. Inhale, leaning lunge. Exhale, reach back. Inhale. Inhale, reach up, stay with the arms. Pivot to those goal posts into like a monkey. Come back to star, right away, warrior two. Inhale through star, exhale, warrior two. Inhale through star, exhale, right. One more time, inhale up. Pivot those toes, let them face your knees. Stay in your right knee, lift the arms up, Hands down, you can plank. Knees, chest, chin, or halfway to the Ramana Dandasana. Inhale, downward facing dog. We'll do that again, right leg up, bend the knee, stack. Take an inhale, stay for the exhale. Stretch the right leg high between the hands. Hover those fingers. Inhale, just back to the foot. Two more, inhale, feel those shoulders, just kind of feeling better. Maybe we've been sitting and I've been playing a lot of cards. So reach forward. I almost won the poker yesterday. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Now leave those arms up. We're coming right to star into the left knee, warrior two. Back through star, right knee. So just pivot and switch. Get a little lower each time. One more round. And exhale. We're going to meet with the left knee bent. We'll pivot around, reach the hands high. And this time, bent knee warrior three. Just keep the left knee bent. Reach those fingertips back. Reach back to runners. Hands plant plank pose. Lower half layer all the way down. I just added on the head knee warrior three. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee, stack the hip. Stretch and high, step between here. That runners with the fingertips hover. And then we go mini movements here. 
So let the backs of the shoulders, your posterior belts, catch right here, and then lengthen right here. And then we'll go bigger, feel more of the back muscles, lats and traps. Exhale. Draw that left heel gently underneath you. One more time. We'll come all the way up to star, right knee will bend. Inhale, star. Exhale. Inhale, star, stand on your right. Pivot off the back toes. Leaning, bend knee, knee. Belly firm, face down. Okay, we're gonna step the left foot next to the right foot for chair pose, please. And then same thing. Take your fingertips, let them hover near your heels, and then take them back. Stay in chair. Fingertips down. Back. In that same way, we'll take the hands back, reach them forward, Ardha, Uttanasana. Exhale. Inhale, find that Ardha Uttan. Exhale. Come all the way up to standing. Come back to the goal pose, lift the heart, and then draw your hands up overhead. And as you take your hands to the heart, notice as you stand here, are you pressing down more strongly on your right heel or your left heel? Try to even out your stance here. All right, and then that same thing. Are you rotated toward the heels more than the toes? Find those four balance points. Slow sun inhale. Put the arms out, bend the knees for this first one, forward fold, Uttanasana. Hands to the shin. Give yourself a chance to really lengthen and then empty out. Plant the hands, step to plank and pause. Knees, chest, chin, or chatter, run with that Inhale, really hug the shoulder blades towards each other down your back. Keep the belly firm, keep the feet flat until you turn. Three breaths. And then try to stay still. Even see your breath rise under the finger pads, the knuckles, the base of the wrists and arms. And just like a waterfall down the backs of your legs, all the way under your feet, the pads of your toes. Empty out, lift the heels, bend the knees. If you're ready to hop, hop. Otherwise, step, step. Find that full breath to lengthen. So that you can empty out. Root to rise. Reset. Find those four balance points on your feet. Engage the muscles of your legs. And again, inhale. Slice or dive. I like to bend my knees if my back is a little tweaky. Perhaps that's something you enjoy. And then opposite foot steps back to plank. Lower. Keep your head even with your upper back. And again, the insteps, glue them, glue them, glue them. Feel the belly catch right here. Then start to turn the toes. Three breaths. Toes are curling away from your mat. Heels are sinking down toward your mat. Empty out completely. Lift the heels, bend the knees. Step the opposite foot forward unless you're hopping. Fold down, rise up. Two more Surya Namaskar A's. If you're ready to jump back, remember land in Chaturanga. Deep breath, take a ride inside your body. You can let your body take a ride with the pace of your breath. A little more rest to hold here. Let the fingertips wide, a little more weight to index finger and thumb. Wrap and hug the upper arms towards each other. Wrap and hug the upper thighs towards each other. See if that lets you lift your sit bones just a smidge higher. Empty out, lift, bend. When you get to the top, you lengthen and extend. It's a little rise. Do you ever forget it? One more time through the sun. As you like. Perhaps slow the pace of your breath. Breathe 
back in Adho Mukta. If you're ready to remove Chaturanga, then you go there. Sometimes it's nice to step to dog and reverse this part from dog to plank. So your shoulders will say, hey, I might like you to do this instead. And if your shoulders are feeling a little tense, then come to child's pose here. If you have supported headstand or you want to come back to forearm plank, Find your placement here where you can really breathe, move around, and enjoy your space. Seeing if you need to remove anything sort of interfering with your sacred bubble that you cultivated to build around you this morning. Five more breaths. Pay attention to the choices that you're making, right? Especially if we're in a household full of people. We know sometimes the choices aren't just ours. So use these times for your yoga practice to really feed your soul, feed your intuitive mind, feed your choice making. That fire in your belly, the third chakra we've talked about. This is that time to just honor, really honor your ability to make choices that work for you. So if you're upside down, start to make your way down. So I'll meet with our forehead on the ground, hands down by the feet, Balasana Child's Pose. Let your elbows and shoulders just relax. You might feel like you're shrugging when you do that. That's okay. Let the shoulder heads round towards your knees. Meet in downward facing dog. Breathe in, side up. Lift your heels, bend your knees, stay in bear pose. Feel the thighs wake up, the shins hover down. We'll take slow little mountain climbers. On the inhale, right knee to the chest. Exhale, back to bear pose. Inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, back to bear. As you do this side to side, see if you can grip with the fingertips so you're actually making little suction cups with your palms. So you're not flattening out the base of your wrists. You're moving energy to the upper arms. So focus on this core. Next time the right knee comes in, take it to the right tricep. Little tiny pulses towards the shoulder. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, same thing to the left tricep. Try to keep the left leg completely still. So face and head completely still. Four, three, two, one. You're gonna step the right foot forward and then step the left foot forward. Come to chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart, stay upright. Take an inhale, revolve to the right. Come back to center. And exhale, revolve to the left. Come to center, keep the hands at the heart, half chair. Same thing, take an inhale, just revolve back to the center. Exhale, revolve. Now stay halfway here, can you get a little lower? You have options to float the heels and split the knees and pulse, or take the hands down, Bhakti Hasana, Crow Pose. Some of you might have Crow Pose to headstand. We have five delicious breaths. Make them effective and efficient. We will meet back in downward facing dog. So those of you who want to jump back or are trying to jump back, we'll meet in Adamuka through a vinyasa or just skip all that. And just return to your breath. Even if it's coming a little faster, see if you can slow it down or even it out. Okay, lift the heels and stay in bear pose. And this time, left knee comes to chest. Straighten out that right leg. So the opposite leg straightens out in almost like a slow motion spring action. So it's like a slinky tightening around your right leg, and then a slinky lengthening and tightening around your left leg. Next time the left knee comes in, take it to the shoulder and pulse, eight. Seven. So feel that stretch back still of the right leg. Just four, three, two, cross it under to the right. Smile. Just four more. Three, 
two. Set the left foot between your hands, right foot will follow. Come on back to Buddha. Stay upright, hands to heart. Inhale, twist to the left. Center, inhale, twist to the right. Center, inhale, Arda, halfway. Exhale, revolve to the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, just forward fold. Exhale. Keep your feet together or wider. How would you like to spend your few breaths here more in forward fold? Honor your choices, happy with the ability you're on your own for the next, you know, however many more minutes we're together. Doing your thing, right? Come back to Uka. And now we'll take twist, hands to heart, lengthen and hook the left elbow outside the thigh. If you have side curl, I think I've talked about this, fingertips forward is a little more challenging than fingertips side, because on the side you can use both arms like a little shelf, right? When you're forward, you really are only using your left arm. So take your position, even if you're staying, can you be with your breath? That's the most important thing. Okay. We're going to unwind all the way to stand. Goal post inside. We'll just do that same thing other side. Come back to Arda, hands to heart. And on the exhale, right elbow. So again, if you're exploring variations, play, right? We want this to feel like playtime, even if we're building strength and trying things out. It's not a have to, it's a want to. Really different energy. We'll get back in Uttanasana. Lengthen halfway lift, forward fold down, root to rise, and just draw your right knee up to the heart, hands bend. Take the right leg down, hands up. And again, bend knee, cream, right knee, hands to heart. Exhale. So pause here and crane, and then come to warrior three, fingertips back. And then come on back to crane. So right in that left glute and quad, and then tip back to warrior three, and then knee up. Okay, meet me in warrior three, just as transition point to get to warrior two. We're in the left knee. Inhale, reverse. Straighten out the left leg. And come to triangle pose. So you can take the hands and let them hover inside. You can take them outside. The key's fingers are on the toes, right? The key is to have this open heart versus a cat pose, right? And you guys know if your back is tweaky, Shine the top hip down, but still lengthen each side of your waistline. So at home, you can take your own hands to your own rib cage. And if you're lucky enough to be lengthened here, maybe start to add a little revolution from the upper back, not the low. Two more breaths. We'll take this in the air, half moon. So go ahead and fly to your half moon here. If you're ready for a variation, take it. Otherwise, just explore first time here. We're staying at the top of the mat. We'll bend the left knee, return to chair pose, right foot steps, arms lift up. Stand tall, left knee bends to crane, hands to heart, and then just tap the toes down with the arms. Exhale, elbows meet your knees. Inhale, lengthen that left side. Exhale, stay bent. And here's where we tipped over this right hip joint now. Warrior three, tip top, back to bend the crane. So this is glute work, this is quad work. Shift weight to the ball mount of your standing foot whenever you're in warrior three. And then pause for a moment in warrior three as a transition to warrior two. Now we'll be in the right knee for whatever knee you need to. Come to reverse. Push into the heel to straighten out the leg. Lift up through those quads. And then Trigonasana. 
So any hand variation. It felt good to shine the top hip down, do it. Lengthen your own hands. You know, when I'm in class with you, this is what I'm doing, or I'm moving in the opposite direction. So see what feels better. But let the revolution come from the upper back, right? So the mobility comes from our thoracic spine. Keep your hips still. Let the evolution come from the mid and upper back. Two more breaths. Slowly, Ardha Chandrasana two. Keep those right toes looking like a number one. Prevent them from becoming a comma. Any variation, two more breaths. Feet in chair pose, left foot touches right, inhale. This time, exhale, Ardha, breathe. Inhale, Uka. Exhale. One more time, chair. Arda, come on up, stand tall, exhale, right knee, hands down, and just tap those toes. Two more, exhale, feel your core, feel your left glute. Now here we go to three, just tick-tock over. Come back to crane, squeeze the right glute. Exhale, inhale. Warrior three, pause. Warrior two, light step. Inhale, reverse warrior. Straighten out that left leg, triangle pose. We're gonna change it up this side. Take your top arm long overhead. Option to float the bottom. Then on your own, you can just revolve. Again, from this upper rib cage area. Half moon with or without your hands. You're ready for chakrasana. You want to become a dancer. Go for it. You're with me on my playlist. The song Lovely Day is on. I hope we are having a lovely day so far. We're not stepping forward. Come back to half moon. Wherever you went. Back to warrior two. And then breathe. Lift your front heel up on your inhale. Lower it, exhale. So right back in this left glute. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, keep the heel lifted. And come to a supported side angle with the heel lifted. So there's barely any weight on this forearm. Then lower the heel. Then take a half bind, right hand up. To the sacrum or snuggle it inside the thigh. And then with this left hand, take it to the top of your own right shoulder and offer yourself this own adjustment. So your hand is pressing in that direction down, but your left hand is pressing up. So you're going in opposite directions. Hopefully that feels good at home. Okay. And then look down and come to easy twist. Left hand down, right hand down, peel around, stay here. It might feel nice to take a hip stretch, so thighs in lunge, or bashi sasana step to side plank. Whatever choices I've offered and you're taking, again, joyful in those choices. We're leaning forward on the mat, the left knee's bent, the right foot will step to chair pose. Exhale. Breathe here, Uka. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Stand all the way up on the exhale. Left knee comes down, uh, comes up, hands come down. Tap the toes, stay in your right leg. So feel the muscle hug to the bone. And then feel your core engage as you do it. Now here we go, warrior three. Tip like a teapot over this right hip joint. Back to crane, and again. And last time, pause in warrior three. Light step, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, straighten out. Trikonasana, this time, we check the top arm long as possible, bottom arm as well, maybe get that little spin of navel towards ceiling or at least feeling like it. And then with or without hands, half moon, variation of your choice. 
I went to dancer, so I'm committed to that on this side. Taking time to square and then bend. Again, I'm shifting weight to my ball mount, just like I would be doing in warrior three or half moon variation. Draw the knee in, arm up. Oops. And then come back to two. Stretch out and float that right heel. Stay in the right glute and lower it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, try to keep the heel lifted. So feel that plantar fasciitis stretch here through the sole of the foot. Supporting side angle. And then lower the heel. And then if you liked this little adjustment, we'll take half bind, right? And then take your right hand to the top of your own left shoulder. And again, you're going in opposite directions. This left hand is scrubbing the right thigh down and forward. And you're just getting this little twist here. And then unwind to easy twist, or you can take the choices. I went horizon, so again, I'm gonna go there but go where you went. The dismount will be different on this side. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog through a vinyasa or you can skip it. Five breaths and you get to Adamuka. Close your eyes and see how it feels at this point in class to move your breath all the way everywhere. Maybe to new places, to deeper places. Taking tension off your faces. There's another rhyme. <laughs> Breathe. Right leg will float up, will bend and stack. Stay here or flip your dogs. Shoulders over wrist as you go. Back to three-legged dog, high lunge. Step the right foot forward, come back to those hovering fingertips. One time back halfway, back to the ankle, and then bigger movements, lean lunge. Warrior three, shift, lift, fly and float. Three, two, we're coming to tree pose. Stay on that right leg, left knee out. Arms like goalposts. Left arm rests under. Stay here. Keep the eagle arms. You're on your right leg. Come to pyramid with your left foot back and over. So turn your right toes out slightly. Turn your left toes out slightly. And feel your heels, you guys, scrub towards each other. So the minute you scrub those heels towards each other, you're going to feel your glutes turn off. Now, you can keep your toes turned out if that's comfortable for your hips to stay square or face your right toes forward. We're coming halfway down. So play with that. It might feel better when you're halfway down to have this little turnout. And then pyramid pose. Unwind. Adjust your feet if that doesn't feel good. Stay here. Lengthen hands under shoulders and revolve. Don't rush, right? Even if you want to build something new, take that right sit bone back behind you and over towards the left. Keep these legs or fly into reverse half moon pose. So the legs come back looking like warrior three. We are just here. Meeting in runner's lunge. And then hands are going to come to the inside. Take those right toes, turn them back out. And come to a quad stretch here. Left knee down. Stay on your left hand and see if you can reach for the foot. Pulling it in. Collarbones wide. Stay here or take the foot down to take your forearms down. Either stay in lounge lizard, wicked pigeon, or coming back to a quad stretch with your left forearm down and wicked pigeon. You take the baby toe side out. So we're going to meet in our second forearm plank. So your left forearm's already there. So let your right forearm come down and just breathe here. Ten breaths. Close your eyes. 
Get the whole forearm down. So if you're on the edges of your hands like I am, I'm reading from the base of my pinky, the side of my whole hand, wrist, forearm. And even here, notice, are you sort of inadvertently dumping to more weight on your right ball mount? Shift weight back to your left ball mount and then equalize weight for both feet. Same thing with quads and glutes. So we're not coming down. Breathe in. Soften the face. Breathe out. One hand at a time, we come to upper push up. Vinyasa or skip it. We need a downward face. Return to moving your back around. Return to feeling your arms and legs straighten. Get a little stronger and more firm. With your in breath, float the left leg, bend the knees back. Stay or flip. Three legged dog, left leg high. Coming into that runner's lunge to high lunge variation with the fingertips floating. Just halfway back. And then a little bigger here. Let them come forward to leaning lunge and then launch into warrior three. And then see if you can, without touching down, just bring the right knee in and let your heel come to the upper thigh here. That might be a nice little cheek for you to get to tree pose without your hands. And then we'll close the mouth. Lift the belly, lift the heart. Slide arm under for eagle. Stay here and enjoy tree and eagle. So like eagles in a tree. Keep those eagle arms. Right foot steps back, toes turn out. So your feet are hips distance width, but turn the left toes out. And then again, as you lift the elbows, hug to the midline of your rib cage and your glutes. So feel the hips turn on, the glutes turn on. Keep the toes turned out if you like this variation halfway. One more breath, feeling your legs, feeling your core, and then full pyramid pose. And the spine top kitchen. Adjust your feet if they're not quite more in the space you like. Stay here or lengthen. Always get length before twist. So you can come to Pavrita Trivanasana. And again, stay here so you can get the base here. Left sit bone back and over towards your right thigh. And enjoy that. Or come into reverse moon and enjoy that. Both glutes, both of them hugging. Leading in runners, and then the left hand comes inside. Stay on the right hand as you lower the right shin and foot for the quad stretch. So if your hand doesn't quite make it, that's okay. If you've got hand to foot, remember, lean everything to the right. Either stay here after we take the foot down or come down to the forearms. And then either go, like I said, lounge lizard, wicked pigeon, or back to a lower quad stretch with wicked pigeon. Okay, last time for core. Forearm plank with leg variations. You're going to take your feet as wide as your yoga mat. Tap the right to the center, tap the left to the center. So usually we start with the feet narrow, tap out to the side. This time we're taking feet wide, tapping to center. So you go there or stay with your feet wide. You have 10, nine, eight, seven. Nice, try to lower those bums, even with shoulders, six, five, Four, three, two, keep those feet wide. Take one big breath and we're coming down to Sphinx pose with our feet wide. Heart high, in steps pressing so that the kneecaps are lifted. Lift the belly button and the heart higher. And then forehead taps down. Okay, we're gonna get into our hip opening section. 
Those of you who want to go to Pigeon, you can return to Adamuka if you'd like to, or just come to hands and knees. Hold the right knee behind the wrist, okay? Now, I know I've talked about this at home. You can also come to your back for thread the needle. If you guys want to go into double pigeon at a wall, your right shin would be over your left shin. So you still make that stacked pose. But if you can get to a wall, let's say the top of my mat is my wall, I would scooch close enough so that my hands go up the wall. I'm in a really lovely back extension. So I'm not rounded at the wall. I'm calling my hands off the wall. So you're gonna get a pack stretch, you're gonna get a back extension, and you're getting your hips open on the right side. So it's still stacked like logs. You still might need something under your knee and your opposite foot. All right, so I'm just giving you something else to try at home if you're in pigeon, if you're in number four. You have five more rests wherever you are. But you guys at home, even after class, you want to repeat this video. You can just take my cues to home. It just takes some practice to, you don't want to be too close to the wall, but you can't be too far away either. You'll know where it feels good because your body's going to say, oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> so just a couple more breaths where you've gone. And I won't talk so much on the second side. So make your way out. If you like to flip your dog, you know how to do that. You know who you are. And then just mindfully come to your left hip. That's where you might enjoy any of the things that I've talked about. And I'm going to be quiet on this side. So you hear your breath. The thing I want to remind you about is if you're in double pigeon, it truly is stacked. So your foot must be supported by your thigh. Then maybe put something between your knee and your foot. And somehow make your way to your bed. If you like to hop through, you'll hop through. Bend the upper Satya Yamasana if you're choice. Give those upper arms a hug and a squeeze so your chest moves through the gate of the shoulders like space pose. And then glue the fingernails, the forearms, the wrists, the upper arms down as you glue your heels down and peel your hands. The back of the head is rooted. There's space under your throat. Space for your heart to open. And again, even out. So look at yourself. Right now, I just noticed my right hip is lower than my left hip. I'm going to even out and then lift both a little higher. You use whatever strength of your own legs you like. And you can stay here and start to take the shoulders under or come down. To come into your inversion or the down your opposite side. Really switch hands. You have clasp if you're in this position and walk to the awkward clasp. And then reroute down upper arms to the wrist. Stay here or come down into the third bend. Five more breaths. Letting the breath wash over you. Does it roll down your chest, down your legs? When you're ready to come down, we'll meet in Sutta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Take the heels of your hands like those ice cream scoopers and just kind of Get rid of any extra tension at your beautiful hip joints by just lengthening hands into those joints and down the quads, down the side. And then just have your arms float out wide like the letter T. Trying to glue all 10 fingernails even here to the ground. We'll come to twist from here. I'll take an inhale. 
and just fold the left knee over the right. And at home, if you want to do your own little self adjustments this morning, take your right hand again to the top of your left shoulder head and just kind of lengthen it down. Your gaze may spin towards the left hand. And then keep your right hand here if it's comfortable. So we're back out to that T or up overhead. Just for a change. Still offering big breaths into your belly and your ribs. And then open back up. Scoop the bottom as you can inhale. And on the exhale, peel the right knee over the left. If it was comfortable, left hand to the right shoulder head. Just a little pressure to root the back of the shoulder to the ground. Sure, if you're home alone, there's opportunity to give yourself a little bit of a loving touch. It makes such a difference. So keep this hand now with it's crossed, keep it crossed. And if you have yet to bring your Left hand to the right shoulder, cross it over, come back to Sutavada, and then right hand to the left shoulder, giving ourselves not only this hug, but an opportunity to take a hand to the sides of the neck, top of the shoulders, a little massage. So staying still or just finding some space on the sides of your necks to the tops of the shoulders, lengthening the shoulders away from the earlobe. And then we're either going to stay in Shavasana with this hug in Sutavada. Or stretch one for your long time. With our arms crossed in this hug, again, think about just giving yourself a hug. Or whoever else may really need a hug. With the knives of our arms crossed, you can physically feel or maybe open your eyes and peek at the rise and fall of how big your breath is in your chest cavity, lifting these arms a little bit towards the ceiling and then down, down, down. So stay here, give yourself a hug or Lengthen your hands for a few more breaths long by your side. Your eyes closed. And staying here, if you can, in Shavasana at home, or if you need to wake up from your resting pose, start to wiggle the fingers or the toes. Small movements. So then enjoying reaching these arms long overhead. Come to hug your knees in one at a time, pause or rock or massage your back, and then make your way to fetal posture, really, truly letting everything rest and settle on the floor of your mat. And if you're with the rest of us coming out of practice, draw your hands to your heart in Sukhasana. Bow the chin down towards your chest. Honor your intention. Use that piece for or set a new one now for the rest of your day or week ahead. And then float your thumbs to your arms to the chakra, your third eye. Seal your intuition in to your intuitive mind. Om Shanti, Om Peace, Namaste. Thank you all again so much for bringing yourselves to practice here or later with the video. It's such a gift to have you here.